Hey class, now we get to learn about video editing. So hopefully you've already either have the program, this VSDC video editor, or you downloaded it according to the um, tutorial I posted on how to do that. So let's go ahead and open the program. Now when this opens it, you notice it is a video editor. This is not a video producer. It is not going to make a video for you. This is where you're going to bring your videos that you have made other places either in blender with your animations or maybe you've taken some pictures and you want to create a slideshow or however you got your video maybe you took it on your smartphone when you were at home and you guys were doing something cool outside and you took a video of it and then you bring that video to this editor and then you can edit that video. You're not going to produce a video here. You're going to edit a video and come up with a a much better uh, compilation. You'll have several videos you can put together. You can take sections of video out. You can do a lot of things with that video, but you actually have to have the video before you come here. So this starts up this side here. This is a uh, more of an advertisement side. Uh, you know, it has some ideas on how to start these things. What we're going to do here is click on the X and clear out of that. And again, we're using the free edition. Um, like I showed you in the download vi video, you can even download this at home or wherever you're at so you can get to these things. We're going to start a blank project. Um, you have some different things that you can add in. We're going to leave all the resolution and the frequency and all those things the same for right now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as saying Project 1. Uh, it doesn't matter to me what you save it as. And uh, you can even put your name in as the author and publisher if you'd like. We're going to click on Finish and we're going to open up our new program. And here's our project, and you'll notice that there's several things that are the same in this project. Uh, you'll see the timeline down here, just like in Blender, just like in uh, Audacity, there's a timeline to work with. We're going to be putting videos and, and video without sound, no problem. We can go ahead and take sound from other programs and drop them in here. If you want to make a narration uh, to talk your way through the video and add that into the right spots in this video, we can do that. Um, so there's a, a few editing things that we can do with your sound, but there's nothing like you can do in Audacity. Audacity is going to be the place to go for making some really good sound and um, for recording your voice, making it sound really good or, or different or put effects to it. There, that's where you'd get that. But in here, this is where we're going to be adding all of those things. So now we're taking what we've been learning in several different programs and we're going to put it all together in this one. The easiest way to start this program out is to run the wizard. So we're going to go ahead and click on Run Wizard. These are different transitions, and it'll give you examples of the transitions. You can see them to the side. It just lets you see what, what it's talking about. We'll get to transitions in a minute. But the important part is this is where we're going to easily add video files. So we're going to go ahead and click on this first box. And it's going to take you to wherever you've got your videos saved. You might have to navigate down in there to get to it. I'm going to grab a couple animations here. I'm going to grab uh, this first one with the monkey head like I've shown you in the tutorials. And I'm going to put a transition. This is where your arrow is. We're going to put in a transition here. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of quickly find a transition. doesn't really matter which one right now. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to grab it and I'm going to drag it. Drag it down there. Now that the arrow is green, that's where the transition is, and you can see the transition taking effect in the preview box. Now I'm going to add another video. I'm going to go grab my other monkey one here. We're going to add that one in, and I'm going to add a third video. So in this first project, I want you to put in three videos. You should have three animations that you've turned into videos by now. So you go ahead and add it doesn't matter which ones, just add three of them in here. I'm going to just grab real quick a, uh, a different one, and I'm going to uh, grab this one, and I'm going to bring in another transition. So we had three videos and at least two transitions. I'm going to grab my another video. This is one I was working on, had some uh, uh, text I was working on changing from one one word into another. So when I get to the end of that, I'm going to want it to kind of uh, uh, 
uh, transition to the end and kind of fade out of there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab me maybe a page turn and, and just drop that on there and let's see what that does. Okay, so now I'm going to apply those settings. So click on apply. And when you get down here into the timeline, you can see that it added a sprite. And it's showing us that our video is almost, at least for my video at this time, we're almost about 16 and a half, maybe 16 and three quarters seconds long. So if I were to play this video, we're going to preview it, and we're going to see what we've got from the beginning. You can see that it comes through, gives me my first video, transitions into my second video, and then transitions into my third video. Pretty easy, huh? So this is a great way to quickly make some videos, but we can make this a little bit more complex as we go. So the first time though, I want you to add three videos, at least two transitions. You want to put a transition at the end, that'd be great. Now my video is silent. Well, that's kind of boring. Let's add some sort of sound. So I'm going to add an object. We're going to click here. We're going to come down to audio. And wherever you save your music, um, you know, find uh, uh, an audio clip. I put it in the the uh, the movie folder, the video folder in uh, Schoology to where you can get to some of these. Maybe you have another audio clip you've downloaded. Um, just make sure that it is uh, school appropriate. Don't forget you are at school. So let's go ahead and grab this one. These are all just instrumentals. There's no words to any of these. So I'm going to go ahead and open that and it says where do you want to start from you know do you want to start from the different scene beginnings from cursor position by the way this little blue arrow right here this is your cursor right there and I have it at the beginning and yes I want my audio to start at the beginning so I'm going to click OK and it comes down here now you notice that I added the pink audio right here but look how much extra pink audio I have I've got way too much audio we don't need all that audio so let's go ahead and split that and this is one of the things that you can do with your videos and audio in here you can split it so I'm gonna go ahead and move my cursor down you know let's give a little extra at the end we were what 16 and a half let's go a little bit over 18 seconds I want to go ahead and have a little bit of blank spot at the end and I want my audio to continue playing it at the very end of that so I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the pink I'm gonna come up to cutting and splitting now what we have is my my home sound clip and you can see that the cursor is also right here on my, uh, my on my sound clip here and I'm going to start the selection because I want to cut this out I want to cut out this end I don't want it anymore right now I'm gonna go ahead and click on start selection and then I'm gonna grab my cursor and I'm gonna come to the very end of my um, audio I'm gonna click end selection now I want you to watch the timeline we have some red dashes that that shows you my beginning that shows you my end and it also shows you how many seconds and minutes I've got of this music playing well I just want it to be back down to here and the moment I click on apply changes it will wipe out all of this it will zoom in on uh, the first part to where I will just see up to about 16 or 17 seconds so I'm going to click on apply changes huh. well that didn't work right did it let's go back in there and click on cutting and splitting uh, let me go ahead and start the selection and let me get down here and end the selection and I forgot to cut region that's what I forgot to do cut region that wiped it out I don't want to apply those changes yet cut the region and now we zoomed in just like I was looking for a minute ago now that I've got it changed click on apply changes and say yes I want you to change the uh, duration of the audio object and now we notice that I'm we zoomed in a little bit more we extend just a couple seconds beyond and we're gonna go ahead and preview that and we should hear some sound some music with that oh there you go there's some good music right there so I've got that turned down a little bit and now I have music that goes all the way through all the way to the end and we'll wait till the very last we should see a little bit of blank 
ba uh, black part of it towards the end. And now what we've done, we've added our videos in, and we went ahead and added a couple transitions. We put in an audio, we shrunk the audio, and now we're going to save this as a project. So I want to make sure and save as project right now. We're going to come back to this project later. We're going to keep adding things to it. But let's go ahead and do this to uh, as our beginning. So let's go ahead and save our project. Now it's important to save the project as a project. That way we can edit it in the future. If we export it as a video, well, it's done. It's the video. Um, so right now I want to keep adding to this project, so make sure you save it as a project. Did you get en enough times to save it as a project? Maybe I need to say it a couple more times, so save it as a project. Okay, so figure out whatever you're going to call it. I'm just going to call mine Project 1, and I'm going to save it in a folder that I know where it's at. Now that's the first part. And now we're going to export project, so we're going to actually turn this into a video. So go ahead and click on Export Project. And there's a whole bunch of different video files to export as. All of these are very good. They serve different purposes. Um, you might want specific different types of video in different applications, however you want to use it. But this time we're going to uh, export it to MPG. Once I've selected the video I want, I'm going to go ahead and click Export Project. Okay. Now, your export project might come up and it might have this window that says, you know, you can't do this. You have to upgrade to the uh, Pro Edition because it's using hardware acceleration. Well, at the bottom of that window, that didn't pop up this time. I was hoping it would. But at the bottom of that window, it has a little button that says Continue. Just click Continue without using the, the Pro version. You don't, you don't need to do that. And if there's any questions on that, please see me and I'll help you get through that window. So now my video has been completed. Um, you don't need a hardware uh, acceleration unless you're working with really long videos with really demanding things. Um, we're just working with pretty short videos, so uh, you saw how quickly I was able to build that video. And now I can actually come down to uh, get into my file explorer and go to my video clips. And then I can come down here to project one. You see, here's the uh, project and here is the actual video. So let's go ahead and open that up. There's my project. And you can see that it's been turned into a video. That's what I want you to upload to your Schoology assignment. And I'm going to be looking specifically. You need to have three videos, two transitions. You need to add an audio, school appropriate, of course. And you need to save your project because we're going to add to it in the second um, lesson. And you also need to export your video and upload the video. I do not want the project. I want the video. All right. Thanks, guys. Um, enjoy your video uh, editing and how you're going to build video in the future. All right. Have a good day.